Welcome to another edition of Vancouver Island Bushcraft. I'm going to go through my everyday carry, my EDC, like call it in bushcraft for some reason. Um, it's what I carry on a daily basis, um, even when I'm not doing bushcraft, it's what I have in my pockets. Um, I keep uh, kind of doubled up a little bit because I have the, a jacket here and my pants. I don't always have my jacket on, so I make sure I have almost two of everything in case I'm uh, out in the woods and I just have a t-shirt. I'll have it on my pants and... Um, and with my jacket, uh, I have the same basic stuff in it. So uh, it's going to be a little bit of doubling up, but we'll go from there. So I'm going to just put you down here. And we are going to go through what I have in my uh, jacket here. So first of all, I have a, um, I guess, a survival blanket. Um, it's about a six by four. I don't use this um, as, a, uh, as a blanket. I'll use it as a shelter. Uh, quickly put it up, and uh, that way it keeps me out of the rain. Uh, being on Vancouver Island, of course, it rains a lot. I have uh, band-aids in my pocket. Uh, when I first went bushcraft, and actually the very first day, I cut myself. Um, I was bleeding all over the place. My one of my fingers didn't have any band-aids. Really learned my lesson. I have band-aids everywhere now. So I have. Let's see. I have two lighters, uh, normal Bic lighter, and one of those butane ones that are um, windproof. I have a bellows. Um, this is really good when you're starting a fire, the wood's a little bit wet and it's not um, starting up properly for you. You just open this up, uh, blow on the fire and it gets the fire going really, really well. On this side, this side I have a fire kit. Um, this fire kit has um, fat wood, it has of course band-aids, uh, some water purification tablets, mostly uh, fire starting stuff, uh, some jute twine, a couple of zip cubes. Uh, you know when, on the barbecue you use the zip cubes to start the charcoal. Um, I've got uh, a candle, uh, stuff like that. It's in a waterproof bag. Get these at the dollar store for like three bucks. It's three in a bag. Really handy. That's it for my jacket. Around my neck, I carry a ferro rod um, with fatwood, and it's around a leather lanyard. I don't really use this. Um, it's just more of a symbol of my uh, bushcraft. I've worn it ever since I decided to do this, and um, I just have it on me at all times. In my pants, I have this knife, uh, we've seen this before, I used it to um, start the fires on the other videos. Um, it's called a Gonzo, G-A-N-Z-O, and I got it on AliExpress uh, website, A-L-I Express, it's like 25 bucks I think or something. Really good solid knife, uh, it's got an interesting little latch, you can actually close these knives with one hand which is really handy, of course you can open it with one hand as well. Let's see what else I got here, okay I got another knife here, this one's Kind of a neat little design uh, ground down of course for ferro rod it's got some um, paracord on it um, the uh, sheath has a, a jute twine and a ferro rod uh, there's enough twine um, on me uh, with the, the uh, various items that i can actually get a shelter going um, and tie stuff up without too much issue whatsoever and on the other side here i have another fire bundle um, exactly the same uh, as this one basically uh, with the uh, water purification tablets, the band-aids, and the um, extra ferro rod. And they got the bundles. I remember I was saying you can take some fat wood, wrap it with jute twine, and these are, are those, and I've dripped uh, wax on them. They start a fire very, very well. I have another knife on this side. Um, kind of a neat little knife, ground down, of course. Um, and the uh, sheath has a little bit of paracord, has uh, jute twine and wax and another ferro rod. Um, I have this many knives because of convenience. If I'm kneeling down one way or the other, I can just grab a knife on either side and cut whatever I need to cut. It's not a matter of carrying a lot of knives, it's a matter of, uh, of convenience. I have uh, this ferro rod here um, with fat wood. This is a six inch. The one around my neck is a five inch, I think. Uh, this gets pretty heavy, so I didn't want this around my neck, so I'll actually cut this one down. Um, so I have this on the other side of my of my pants, which is kind of handy. Let's see, do I have anything else? I think that's about it. Oh, what do I got in my pocket here? Oh, some nail clippers, very handy to have. You split a nail, there's nothing worse, it hurts like heck. And I have that. I have uh, some lip seal, and I have another lighter in my other side of my pocket. And that's about it for my EDC, my everyday carry. Um, this is what I carry with me um, pretty much always. If I have this jacket and these pants on, which is a little excessive, uh, but like I said, I don't usually carry both. I'm going to be doing a overnight uh, bushcraft uh, camp over um, tonight and uh, stay all night uh, till tomorrow morning. The forecast is torrential rain. And I'm not kidding when I say torrential rain. This is Vancouver Island. 
and it's raining like you see in the movies in the jungle. This is the way it's, uh, it is this time of year in Vancouver Island. You can see how I handle that, uh, how I deal with starting a fire in the, in the rain, how my shelter is uh, set up so I'm not getting wet. Um, my biggest thing when I go out um, bushcrafting is not only being able to uh, survive and do what I need to do, but my comfort as well. So you'll see it's the difference uh, that I do a little bit differently than other people, how I can be actually quite comfortable in uh, torrential rain without any issue whatsoever. So um, uh, definitely uh, come with me on that. And that's about it for my EDC. And I will see you next time in the bush. I'll put you down here and have a good day.